skills. Um, I believe that the poison build is doable, but I should be a bit more careful when it comes to choosing levels. May have also been the the psychic damage that I took from from doing that wizard build. Um, yeah, that was really rough. Um, This might be doable. You've reached Realm 20 and you're watching the slideshow on your wizard build? Let me know if you beat Realm 20, I am a bit curious. Um... None of those are worth anything, so I'm not even gonna pick it up. This, this is actually kind of on the easy side of things, uh, which is good. I definitely could use some, some of that. Um. The mini boss is Insanity Queen, so she can't really do anything to you. I should have maybe gone to Insanity Queen. You're supplementing with Word of Chaos, but you think that's not strictly necessary, you sp speed things up a lot? Hmm... Yeah, um, Annihilate was necessary there, because keep in mind that I need 5 casts of Fireball to kill a Gate um, or a Spawner. So, um, without Annihilate I would have had to spend 15 out of 18 Fireballs um, just destroying Gates. And that's 15 turns instead of 3 turns. Um, giant Bear for free! Wow. For free. Um, the level look, does look pretty bad. Look at this. Like, this is fine, but this and this... Oof. Um, I might be able to do it anyway. Maybe we could get Void Beam. Uh, Void Beam would serve very... Um, like, a very good job. It would be pretty good at uh, sniping these gates. Well, I start here and kill those with Annihilate, uh, and then I just fight off the rest of the level. Oh, these are temporary, okay, that's that's good. Um, oh, there's also another gate here. Man, like, how much am I willing to sacrifice for the Giant Bear? If I'm going to pick up a spell, specifically to do this level, like, it, it's, it's, like, not getting any reward for the level, if you think about it. Okay, Sorcerer's Orb, that's an item. Um, 
I like the Sorcerer's Orb a lot. There's three gates and a fourth one. That seems doable. So the, orc, uh, the ogre is not particularly resistant to fire. It's not weak. We not weak either, which is good. Um, but what it is is uh, extremely tanky. So it doesn't matter if I hit it with a nine damage fireball. Like it's not gonna die from that. Um, Um, well, when it comes to early game liches, um, you know how it is. It placed another jar. Why? Why? Am I dead? You, po you poke for 23, so I have to do this. What a terrible situation. Um, I had to use both my teleporters, uh, that's a shame. Mm, but in that situation at least I should be glad that I had the resources to, to deal with that level, right? Um, without having to spend my experience. Mm, Sorcerer Sorb. And now we can get the bear with that. Uh, I would still need one more experience. Like, I drop into the level and I pick up one more experience, so I can so I can clear the level like that. You're on Rome 21 now, playing the mini game of Where's Mordred. <laughs> I hope you have fun with that. Um, okay, I like this idea. Let's go ahead and get the bear, uh, after all, like, we we were always going to get the bear anyway. Um, so bear. And... Venom bear. And then we go here, because these, from all the levels that I have, this is the one where it's easiest to get to experience for the thing. Now we get the thing, uh, which is a nature... Is it dark? Um, let's see. It's nature dark blood. Um, emo corruption. And now we summon some of these guys. And they should theoretically kill everything. Yeah, damage dealt emo corruption 22. Is there a viable build where you can prevent yourself from taking any damage? Yeah, I can definitely win the game without taking any damage, I think. Um... Hate bolts. I mean, well, hate bolts. Sometimes I take damage, but like, um, if you want to see something that comes very close to that, um, you should check out the start of this stream. I, uh, I'm doing a little bit of hate bolts speed running just for funsies, uh, like nothing too serious. My best is 16 minutes. Um, in like, if I play carefully in this build, like without speed running it, I can probably beat that without taking any damage. Um, yeah, like, um, it's crazy strong. Hate Bolt is crazy strong. Um, I would tell you, like, maybe someone builds as well, but, like, I don't think someone builds can uh, get away with that kind of thing. Um, Especially not considering how crazy uh, things get beyond a certain point. Oh, it's a uh, steel spider spawner, so... Oh, my bears died, both of them. So many resources spent on the bears. Like, uh, that's 11, 11 experience on the verse, and it just is not doing enough. Um, there has to be a better, uh, like, a way for the verse to actually kill everything um, with Hemo Corruption. 
It says, whenever an allied unit heals, deal that much poison damage. And then the bears uh, heal whenever an enemy takes poison damage. So it, it should be an infinite loop. But I guess it's an infinite loop that doesn't work on monsters that are immune to poison, right? That's kind of the issue here. So the trick to doing this is to just not go to a level that has um, poison immune enemies, I guess. You won? That was very funny to do exactly once. Yeah, like maybe maybe it will be a bit funnier in like a year or so. Um, at least I would like to believe that it's gonna get better in like a year or so. Well, we have one Annihilate and two things to kill. No death dice or anything, so... And yeah, I'm not gonna walk all, all the way over here to get a cantrip. I, mean, I would rather just use a mana potion. What a tragedy. Man, the bears kinda disappointed me badly there. Um, toxic spores. Toxic spores, huh? I don't think so. And also these guys are immune to poison, so... We have already learned our lesson when it comes to poison immune enemies. The game is throwing poison immune enemies at me. Okay, I guess that this is the level that we go to. Um, Ah, there we go. Hemo Corruption dealt 95 damage this turn. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Venom, Be Venom Beast healed 2, healed 2, Gotia took 2 from Hemo Corruption, it heals, it takes damage, heals, etc, etc. So it shreds things pretty good as long as those things are not immune to poison. Does Hemo Corruption work even if they're at full health? Also, can the bears themselves eat poison? They're immune to poison. Um, so, I, I would like to believe that means no, but there's maybe something that removes poison resistance. But I don't think so. Uh, and do, does that work if the bears are at full HP? I don't know. Uh, I do have a bear that's at full HP. Hmm. Oh, okay, I guess it doesn't work if the things that are left in the level are immune to poison. What things apply to poison the damage type and what which apply to poison the status? Um, uh, poison the status is always a line of text below poison the attack. Like, you can see that these guys deal physical damage with their poison bite, but they also poison. In my opinion, they should do poison damage instead of physical damage. Um, can you be, give the verse Armageddon Blade without losing the Hemo Corruption loop? Oh, it's an enchantment chaos. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the um, Hemo Corruption loop happens 
uh, heals whenever a unit takes poison damage, and um, I can just poison things myself. Like it, it will do Armageddon Blade, but it will also um, heal if I poison things myself. If it doesn't poison things, it doesn't heal, I guess. Spoon. Armageddon Blade looks like a spoon. Uh, nah, it does look like a sword. You can see very clearly that it looks like a sword. I guess I can kind of see how it could look like a spoon, but it's more like it's the lightning that is uh, coming from the blade. Which, by the way, is a pretty cool uh, depiction of the Chaos Damage types. Like, it's a sword, so that's physical, and the handle is, like, fiery, and then there's lightning, so that's fire, lightning, and physical. Pretty cool. I don't really know where I'm going with this um, <clears throat> with this poison build with the bear. I was expecting it to be a lot more um, spectacular than it has been. Cascade Annihilate plus Armageddon Blade could be really cool. Cascade Annihilate. Oh, because it gives a melee version of your Annihilate. So, oh, so if I get if I get Cascade. Um, then the annihilate that they cast whenever they melee bounces around. Huh. I wonder if that applies the range of their melee. Three cascade range. You haven't been impressed by Annihilate Cascade. Um, yeah, it's not great, but it might be great if I'm getting it kind of for free on these dudes. Um, you know what What would be a lot better for Armageddon Blade if it was a skill, if I didn't have to cast it? Yeah, it does, does the remaining hits. That's exactly how it works, the Cascade. Hits from Annihilate will jump from to nearby targets if the main target is killed. Um, it should say remaining hits, but... Um, you get what uh, what it means. I think you had fun trying was metal elephants plus metal elephants plus mass Armageddon blade. It's strong to cast a spell but can die to AoE damage. Oh. Sometimes Hemo Corruption goes sicko mode and it actually kills everything. Sometimes. Yeah, you see how, like, just randomly that uh, Minotaur dies? <laughs> uh, it's because of the thing. Like, it's, it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny, but it's so janky. I am also a bit surprised that it just happens instantly. What happens if I am not in next turbo? <laughs> Let's go to turbo for safety. <laughs> that does make things a lot funnier. Uh, Doomstar and Annihilate plus Blizzard could be cool, not good for the verse. Not good for the verse and not good for me if I get hit by a storm. Um, so I don't think I particularly want to do that one. Yeah, look at that. This time the bears actually survived everything. I guess the difference is indeed in going to a level that is not immune to poison. And uh, yep, that is a level that is immune to poison, alright. This one as well. Okay. Last one is my only hope. Yeah, that's fine. I mean... Metallic ghosts are gonna be something that I'll have to kill myself, uh, but other than that, it's pretty doable. Um, I 
Oh, the fire spirits are also immune to poison. The early levels are always like that, it's a bunch of monsters that are immune to poison. As it seems uh, skill to convert all enemies to weak to poison. Yeah, but I don't know if I should get it now. I, I am aware that I am uh, holding a bunch of experience. Maybe I should get Nature Lord? Five bears? Um, that sounds pretty okay. And like, um, I feel like we can just get a bunch of nature skills. You know, natural vigor, uh, minion regeneration, maybe natural healing, um, maybe, um, maybe Earthrath, though I feel like Earthrath is not gonna be great for the bears. <clears throat> Definitely collected agony, acid fumes, venom spit, toads. Um, <clears throat> it's not a cheap build. Or, well, it's not even that expensive, because a lot of the skills that I want are not, like, level 6 or level 7. Um, I'm gonna get the totes. Oh, maybe I should have gotten Nature Lord. But the decision has been made. Um, That is so funny. When it works anyway. Um That is so funny. Oh you know what would make this a lot better? Poison speed. Yeah, because these guys heals from a unit taking poison damage and poison speed deals poison damage. Uh. Hey, we got a toad. Current Toad Blood 28. It does tell you. Oh, talking about that, uh, something that I would like to see Rift Wizard do, do is uh, show you a lot of stats. Um, like, I would like to see over the entire run how much damage, like, any, uh, like, all of the spells that you have has uh, dealt. I feel like that would be a cool addition if possible. But considering how it already records the amount of damage that your spells deal every turn, it, it surely is not going to be a much more of a, of a hassle uh, to, to make it show the damage, uh, like, updated every turn. Um, so, nature. We get the spit. And the spit is going to be great for these guys. And they don't have it, but they will have it from next level onwards. One of the bears died. Um, I guess it's fine. Oh, this this new toad does have the spit already. Cool. If it wasn't for the ghostly two-headed snakes, I feel like this could be doable. Uh, funnily enough, they're not immune to poison, but they're immune to physical. So the bears wouldn't hurt them anyway. It might still be doable, because the bears can just hurt other things and they can get hit by the chemo corruption loop. Um, maybe. I feel like this... no, it has monsters that I mean to poison golden spawner. Okay, no, 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 we're not going there. Okay, this might be the one, after all. Okay, just dropping the tactical bear. Uh, I think it's pretty cool how the bear just does that. Um, that's pretty, pretty funny indeed. Okay. I think this guy froze me. That's what happened. Oh, maybe... Yeah, you are the one that froze me, actually. Suspend mortality for the bears could be good. Yeah, 
If they're dying, they might just die straight away. Um, yeah. Everything is working kind of how I expected it to go, so that's pretty good. This is so funny. Funnier than the wizards and less taxing on the game engine. Um, yeah, funnier than the wizards. I don't think I have much to be uh, afraid of, even though the the bears are like there's only two bears and one guy, um, one ogre, and a million enemies um, because the bears are definitely taking care of the enemies. Yeah, once it gets to the point where you don't really have to worry about um, the immunity to poison, it's so strong. Looking around at spells, Death Cliff plus Wheel of Death could be a cool combo. Uh, um, you don't even need Death Cliff for Wheel of Death. Wheel of Death has an upgrade that says the following. Uh, it's a sorcery, right? Wheel of Death. Cheat Fate. Oh, this is new. Dead Roulette avoids shielded and dark immune enemies and wastes its target selection by current resistance adjusted hit points instead of uniformly. That might be fun. It used to, in Rift Wizard 1, it had an upgrade that, cons uh, like, um, um, increasingly killed more stuff. So, like, you cast it once, and then it killed some one thing. And then you cast it right away, and then it kills two, and then three, and then four, and that that's how it worked. It was so broken, Rift Wizard 1. Um, I don't know if it works with Death Cleave. Let's see. Death Cleave is dark, right? Dark Arcane. You know what? Maybe it works. It's it recasts on a randomly selected nearby valid enemy target. Who knows what nearby means? But I guess it just it it checks from your range for other things. But it's full screen range, so it probably just recasts itself. I might have to try that. Like in Rift Wizard One, our uh, Wheel of Death didn't need Death Cliff, but that might be like the one way to make Death Cliff good. In Rip Wizard 2. Incredible. I find it a bit curious that these guys don't have any. Um, <clears throat> don't have any resistances. Like, I appreciate it, because they're already kind of strong with the spam of imps that they are capable of doing. I wonder if I can increase the range of these. Maybe I can. I think I need a radius increase for the skill. Okay, that was pretty funny indeed. Um, I took a million damage, but I have boots that heal me whenever I sit still, so it doesn't matter um, to take a million damage. Nature Lord says, 3 charges, 2 duration, 7 million damage, 10 million health. Unfortunately, this doesn't increase the damage that your nature skills do, which would be really useful for... Uh, stuff like Venom Speed.
Oh, this thing is not immune to poison. Ooh, night hacks, however. Uh, night hacks in an open level, yeah. You should generally stay away from night hacks in an open level. So many things are immune to poison. Why are so many things immune to poison? I guess it's early, uh, still early enough in the game for that to, to be the case. Uh, poison pipe says three enemies are affected with poison. That might be good. And the bear uh, heals, or like this says, uh, whenever an ally unit heals, okay. Whenever an enemy takes poison damage. What nature lore does on buff Venom Speed? It says a spells and skills, but it increases minion damage, doesn't increase um, skill damage. Uh, I don't know how that works with Venom Speed actually. It might increase it, since after all, it is something that you're giving to your minion. Um, but normally I would think that this would get its damage increased uh, by by damage instead of minion damage, but we shall see. Like, I can drop into some experience and we shall see if it increases or not. My bet is that it's not going to increase. Um, oh man, what are, what are these levels? Okay, I think that this level at least has a decent amount of stuff that are that is not immune to poison. It has uh, very open spaces and Dwergars, however, which is not great. Would be nice if the skill menu had the, the attributes view. You agree it's, it's unclear? Um, I've seen that some people have the attributes, but I don't know how they have them, if it's like a mod or something. Um, I would definitely be interested in having that in the base game, if it's a mod. It, it's the kind of thing that it should just be part of the normal game. Just like in Reef Wizard 1, like Reef Wizard 2 has this amazing targeter. I bet that if I search for it, there's gonna be a Reef Wizard 1 mod that is straight up this thing. Um, you only see it in a certain resolution. Uh, you only see it if it's full screen. I don't have it full screen. I have it windowed. Nerk your eyes would go well with your build right now. It is a way to trigger poison, but I have a better way to trigger poison. I just haven't grabbed it. Uh, toxin burst is definitely that. Um, anyway, Nature Lord. So this says uh, 7 minion damage. Um, and this should still say 4. Oh, it says 11, so it increases by increasing minion damage. Okay, that's big. Um, That damage is insane. Like, yeah, it just uh, triggers so much. What what was that? Uh, that was Hemo Corruption plus Venom Burst. This thing says whenever an allied unit heals, deal that much poison damage to up to two enemy units in a five tile burst. And this thing says Venom Burst heal whenever an enemy takes poison damage. So they deal poison damage, then they heal, and the heal makes them deal poison damage, which makes them heal, etc., etc. It's an infinite loop until whatever they're hitting dies. It's pretty strong. Yeah, kinda like that. Time to go back to Exturbo. Uh, the Hemo Corruption thing was funny, but I uh, think that it's time for Exturbo. Seems pretty balanced. It's not even that broken. Like, how much Reef Wizard 2 have you seen? Hello, TV. Also, hello. Thank you for stopping by. It's not even that broken compared to the crazy things that you can do in this game. Um, man, all of these levels have poison immune stuff. Oh, uh, why does it have to be this way? The spiders are not poison immune. Oh, they are. They are because they're steel spiders. 
almost none. You tried like an hour of this, and the first you made it was Rome 6. Refuser 2 is hard. It's a lot harder than 1, in my personal opinion. Um, it's, uh, it's like a lot harder, but it also gives you a higher ceiling for crazy things that you can do. Reef Wizard 1 was already a very crazy game, um, but this is even more so. Um, <clears throat> you want to see a bear kill a Chaos Knight in one turn? Look at this guy, it has 190 HP. By all stretches of imagination, you wouldn't believe that a measly bear that hits for 17 physical is going to kill this guy in one turn, but it's going to kill it in one turn. Um, Does this even matter? I guess I guess I'll get blinding light. It might be useful for something. Okay, here we, here goes. Here goes. Oh, did it? How did it not die? It's at 151. Hmm. Uh. Oh, it's not killing it. It is stopping at some point. Maybe it does need to heal in order to take damage, or like in order to deal damage. Okay, now it's dead. Yeah, I I I don't really understand how that works. All that I know is that it kind of works. It's not even that broken. Um. Anyway, I do have to say that once you get to a certain point with the verse. The quality of their like ability to push is, is really good. Like they're they are kind of lowly summons because they're only level three, but um, like once you support them well enough, they they definitely clear the level without even summoning that many of them. Yeah, that is probably uh, full health. It probably breaks the Hemo loop. That that surely must be how it works. Hello, Pixies. Thank you for stopping by. Surprising. I only cast three bears, and that's it. One shotting everything they get close to is pretty good. Yeah, also they have uh, Venom Speed, so that also makes them deal damage. Uh, another thing that will be pretty funny and that I should definitely get is... Uh, Mega Venom. Mega Venom says poison enemies take four additional poison damage each turn. Uh, and we're poisoning a bunch of stuff, so Mega Venom seems okay. <clears throat> Let's see, Arch Computer increases minion damage uh, by three. Also gives them a little bit of range. I should maybe think about getting that as well. Hemolub is with Soul Jarred enemies. Not sure what else causes it. That is infinite, right? Uh, Soul Jarred enemies with Hemolub, or like with Hemo. I feel like this is doable. Slime Drake. Yeah, let's see how it goes. Um, Maybe send bears out with an ally that can hurt them, just does resulting in more healing. Maybe, but I don't think so. Like, um, they're doing pretty good. It's about to split. It splits at 280 HP. Might as well speed up the process of killing it, because I don't want it to split. Yeah, they, they are doing so well. I'm, I'm so surprised. Um, <clears throat> damage to enemies, a lot Hemo Corruption. Um, would be nice to find a nature staff. Um, or maybe this. Um, Nature spells and skills gain 25% damage. I wonder if that works with this. Maybe not. Maybe not. 
just use Bone Barrage if you need them to take damage. Uh, it surely is a Dark Conjuration thing, right? Or maybe it's a Dark Sorcery. Bone Barrage. If some allies in line of sight of the target take physical damage equal to half their health, each affected ally deals that much physical damage to the target. Mm, apart from the Mischief Maker... Oh, Leech, so that could be bad. A greater vampire spawner. Um, we definitely want to get rid of that like as soon as possible. <clears throat> this should be fine. Yeah. Okay. Let's go here. I hope that I do not regret this. Wow. This did this guy target the ice bolt, so it didn't hurt me. I think so, like it targeted to the far the ice ball over here. That's so cool. Um, or I think it targeted it here. But anyway, it could have targeted straight up the tile of the of this thing and it didn't do it. Um, so I think that at least someone's a bit smarter when it comes to preventing you from taking damage uh, compared to Reef Wizard 1 anyway. Um, Oh, Hemo Corruption. Yeah, of course, Hemo Corruption. Such a great thing. So, unfortunately, the Fey Greater Vampires are immune to poison. So, that might be annoying. Um, and the Horde of Enemies is coming. Surely my Hemo Corruption Burst will kill everything. Yeah, they're doing a pretty good job of that. Um, this one is a bit hurt on its max HP because it got touched by the Greater Vampire. Um, that's a shame. Poison has so many skills and they all work great together. Talking about that, I have some experience. Um, collected Agony, you think? I, I bet that Collected Agony would be pretty good for what I'm doing right now. Whenever 200 damage is dealt by Blood or Nature spell skills or Summon Summon a Bloodhound. I feel like I should get that as well. I wonder if the Bloodhound is gonna get the... Wow, look at this raving Vampiric Mist, that's so cool. Um, I'm glad that this kind of thing cannot happen on a large amount of monsters, because that could trigger Caesars and that kind of thing. Um, so it's cool that it's only one monster, pretty much. Wow, that poor Icy Ogre lost a ton of max HP. Yeah, I don't think I have to do a lot. I was a bit, uh, like, concerned about the verse. Ah, let's just cast another one. But I don't think it's necessary. Yeah, they're so strong. Look at that. Poison Overhaul that happened at some point in Reef Wizard 1 was really cool. Lots of amazing things added. Um, I started playing shortly after that was changed. Like, uh, when Poison started preventing you from healing. And preventing enemies from healing. That was really cool. Um, yeah, let's grab this living orb and see if that... Well, it's not gonna show, like, in the skill. 
because it doesn't have a particular damage number, but maybe it does increase the damage. And I don't think it increases the damage of these. It definitely doesn't increase the damage of these. It doesn't increase the damage of these. Um, or does it? I think it did. Yeah, it did, because normally it's 4 and now it's 5. So it did increase the damage of this by 1. I guess it's better than nothing. Uh, I can get Dark Lord for Mega Venom to deal more damage. Um, but I don't think that's necessary. Um, surely there's a better thing to spend my experience on. Um, yeah, it was 4 and now it's 5. Did my bear die? Did I place a bear and the bear died? Or... Oh no, it's here! It got joined away by the Void Knight. Cool. Once again, I have a lot of experience. This this uh, build has a lot of um, skills that cost like 5, so every time that I have experience I should just get a skill. Maybe get this purse to send your purse into the world? Yeah, that, that sounds good. Um, I'm, I'm gonna think about doing that. It, it might legit be great, considering how strong the purse are. Alright, I have six experiences. Let's get this purse, as you uh, mentioned. Translocation sorcery. And now with four experience, what can we get? Oh, I know what, what we can get. Um, we can get Conhured Aggression for 50% extra minion damage. That better be good. Um, preview bear. 26 physical, and Venom Speed does 11 poison. Not bad, let me tell you, not bad. 26 physical is quite a bit... Natural vigor for the bears? Oh, the level is full of monsters that are immune to poison, so we are not going there. How do you auto-collect like that? Uh, for me it's different. Um, you can go to menu. Come on. No, it doesn't go to menu if I have that screen on. Rewind controls, and there is auto pickup. For me, it's O, but you can change it, or at least you can see what it is in that menu. Or you can press A, which is probably uh, what it is by default. Um. Conheared loot, and considering that we are using the bears... Oh, uh, but it's not Claw. Claw is the one that we wanted to see because it increases uh, minion damage a, lo a lot. Ah, if it wasn't for the Annihilation Goose, this would be pretty funny. Um, I don't have any experience. I think I can maybe drop here and use a Chaos Bell and we can see what happens. These are not Liches, right? Okay, they're not liches. It's just that both toads and both toad liches look the same. Hello, TB. Thank you for um, for the follow. I appreciate it. Hello, TB. Hello, TB. Um, hold on. Kiss bell. Okay, I didn't die, which is good. Unnamed buff 88. Who I the Who even knows what uh, unnamed buff is? Um... That was actually pretty good. Um, Hemo corruption finally did something. Let's keep summoning bears. Mm -hmm. 
The only issue is that the Annihilation Goose are immune to poison, so it's gonna take a while to kill them. Those I'm probably gonna have to kill myself with Annihilate. Surprisingly, Annihilate kinda does well versus the Annihilation Goose. Uh, let's see... Yep, they don't have great Annihilation resistance. Um, this deals physical, lightning and fire, um, and they have okay resistance to physical, but bad resistance to fire and lightning. Um, is it bad resistance if they have more resistance than the normal monsters? Um, who knows? Let's send my bears into the world. Okay. Hemo Corruption is uh, destroying the game. Okay, the only things that are still alive are um, the Annihilation Goose, the Gates, and this Immortal Void Drake. Hello, cool guy, dude. Thank you for stopping by. Not for long, you have got acid fumes. It's like ninth played crawl or something. Yeah. Oh, like crawl out explore. Uh huh. That's why it is um, that. Hey, there we go. Acid fumes. Acid fumes for the win. So even levels that are full of monsters, well, not even that full of monsters, but like levels with monsters that are immune to um, to poison are no longer a match for me and I, and my poisonous bears. But that's a bit too much. Yeah, we're not doing Bone Shambler Megalith stuff. Um, these are not immune to poison, but how terrible is this going to be? What does Hemo Corruption do? Does damage when a friendly heals? Does poison damage, important to notate. Um, and if it does poison damage when a friendly heals, uh, the Venom Bears heal whenever something takes poison damage. So they heal and that deals damage, and then they heal and that deals damage, etc. etc. Um, so it shreds levels that are not full of monsters that are resistant to poison. Um, funny thing, this level is full of monsters that are resistant to poison. Um, I didn't even want any of those items anyway. Just as I don't want those. The Earthmelt boots have been surprisingly good. 2 HP each turn unless you move, to, and as you can see I don't really need to move with this build. How is this better than the Wizards? Someone explain this to me, I don't understand. How is this better than the Wizards? Okay, so I have Blinding Light, uh, which I got for free, but it's pretty useful. Uh, for sure. It's gonna make it so that the Gorgons do not stun me. Um, time to summon some bears. What did I kill? Goblin Wizard. Yeah, uh, the Goblin Wizards making that noise is always a uh, surprising thing since they're so easy to kill. Just for fun, one turn of X Turbo. Or like of Turbo. For a couple of turns. I wanna see what it does to one of these uh, brain trees. Oh I should I should be using this purse, like. Why am I not using this purse? This purse is there precisely so I can do that thing. Oh yeah, like the brain trees stand no chance. Ah, beautiful. Incredible. How are the bears so strong? Like they don't even have resistances. The only resistance that they have is poison. Poison machine gun. Blood going with poison aura could be cool, but you realize it shares damage with all of its allies, including me. Yep, uh, it would probably kill me. <clears throat> what do we have here? Modified fiends. Uh, immune monsters with a ton of HP. Uh, and they split into more immune monsters, into a lot of immune monsters. Um, Lord Scourge. Mantises. Nope, nothing. Okay, let's see what we got here then. Burning Annihilation Goose. Um, 
We have Minion, Regeneration, Arch Sorcerer, and Fighty Judgment. Mm. This level looks kinda hard. Maybe it's about time that I uh, get Word of Chaos with charges. Maybe it's about time that we do that. Um... Fey Elf Lightning Artist. Um, and how many? Okay, there's a lot of them. Um, yeah, going there would probably kill me. And these, yeah, okay, we reroll. Let's see what we get. Trulamasu. Uh, oh yeah, Bone Shambler Megalith is automatically no. Um, Mortal Elf Lightning Artist, jeez. Um, yeah, that is also no. Please be good. Uh, why? Oh, it's extra bad. Um, this this is gonna have to be the one. I hope that the Lightning Artists do not kill me. Um, what I can do is is indeed get Word of Chaos charges. Or I can start here and kill four gates, and then do Word of Chaos. Yeah, that, that sounds like it could work. Okay, I'm gonna try that. I hope that I, that it doesn't kill me. Or I can use a stopwatch. I can use a stopwatch. Uh, now let's kill this. And this. And this. And by the way, if you don't know what's happening, Volcano Turtles do that. Um... Uh-huh. Sweet. Dispersing the verse is like uh, it's like dropping a nuke on the level. Like it's so good. I, this is this is a great build. I am glad that I decided to try this uh, at the end of the day. Um, yeah. Oh, it it lost its poison resistance. Amazing. Venom drop bears, yep. Mm, what do we have here? Nothing really. No, nothing. Is this by any chance an enchantment? I don't think it is. Nope. And nope. I have 15 experience. Um, it's wild, like, the, the start was very difficult, but it got to a point where, where it just started destroying the levels for some reason. This is the average Australian wizard. Um, yeah, sure, paralyzing Venom, because why not? Um, Scent of Blood, because why not? And we still have enough for Conjured Vitality, because why not? And there goes my 15 experience. Um, and I guess, like, I'm not carrying any one, so I guess I might as well... Oh, or I can just equip this. That I also do not have. Um... Oh. Yeah. Yeah, what about no? What do we have here? We need to see uh, things that are not immune to poison. Not immune to poison. And I don't think anything in this level is immune to poison. Oh! Ooh! Bullet dodged. That would have been terrible. Um, bone uh, shamblers should definitely not generate with modifiers. I feel like every time that I see a modified bone shambler, it's like, get me out of here. I'm not doing that. Um, which is not great. So this looks crazy, but it might be doable. I feel like I'm gonna take a ton of damage. Uh, Burning Acer, Volcano Turtle Leech, or Electric Chaos Fiend. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm. Mortal Shamblers are pretty annoying. It, like, every Shambler modifier 
is bad. Like, it doesn't matter which one it is, it, you, you will know that it is not good. Uh, like, in this case, it's... Um, oh, it, it, it already is gone, but it was, like, metallic. Um, and yeah, like, metallic, burning, immortal, leech... It does icy like it doesn't matter which one it is. It's bad like um, It's it's not particularly great when no matter which modifier it gets you don't want to see the the bone shamblers Shambler gets fumed does the, sp does the spawns also lose the resistance. No, no, that's what makes it re extra bad um, This is a uh, small level. Uh, I feel like I can drop here and immediately use Chaos Bell and then drop some dudes, uh, drop some bears. Uh, the Lightning Artists are modified. Uh, I would like to believe that they're not gonna kill me if I use the Chaos Bell, so we're going here. Uh, the Trula Masu is not a problem because I poisoned a bunch of stuff. Um, so, oh, you know, you know what I should maybe do first? Blinding Light. That's fine. Then drop the bear. Whew! Look at these guys! These are allied, by the way. Uh, what? Where, do you, where did those guys come from? Uh, they came from... Scent of Blood. Whenever 200 damage is dealt by Blood or Nature spell skills or someone, summon a Bloodhound. Are they Nature? Oh, they do get the speed. That's awesome. Um, it may not even be necessary to, to use uh, the Chaos Bell after all. Okay, time for Exturbo. Time for Exturbo, definitely. Just give it a minute. That was pretty funny. Oh, they killed the true Lamasu. Man, this is so good. These bears are somehow stronger than the wizards. <laughs> and to think that I was not a believer on the bears earlier on. Jeez. Yeah, amazing, uh, remarkable for sure. It's so good. The only reason I don't have more is that there's no more room around me to spawn more. Yeah, that's indeed how it was. Uh, that's impossible. If if you see Ofan on a summon build, yeah, like just go elsewhere. Uh, I've heard that this guy is immune to poison. Um, but the way that it works is that in order to avoid taking more than 700 damage, what it does is that it heals itself. So if you re if you get rid of the poison resistance, which we're very capable of doing, um, it will start taking extra damage, so you can kill it faster. And that's really good. And we want to do that kind of thing. Um, so I guess we're going here to test that. Um, yeah, just to test that. Okay, everybody cross your fingers so that I don't die instantly. Um, blinding Light. I feel like Blinding Light is kinda like a Gito World of Chaos, if you think about it. Because it prevents all of these guys from hitting me. Uh, the Imps? Oh, they have 16 HP because they're Ash Imps, that's a shame. But they still don't stand a chance versus the Bear. Oh, I should get rid of these probably right now. Yeah, before it, before things are summoned. More blinding light. I'm killing a lot of stuff indeed. Look at that. Blinding light dealt 534. Not bad. Pope the Frog feels Batman. It's still at full HP. Um, it's gonna take a while, but I'm sure that it's gonna work. Uh, <clears throat> it might be... A good idea to try to make my way towards some experience. I can see all of the experience in the level. How am I going to get rid of poison resistance, poison stink? I have um, acid fumes. 
A city fight just needs to lose 100 poison resistance and each turn a random unacidified enemy is acidified. So it's gonna take a while but eventually um, it's gonna lose the poison resistance and once it does it's gonna start dying super badly. I killed something. I don't know what's happening. The game froze. The game unfroze. You were frozen for two turns, just like the game. <clears throat> Enemies are slain. It's quite the list. This is so funny. Two thousand years later. Ogre froze me. Yeah, Ogre froze me. But the game is also freezing. <clears throat> Did it happen again? No, this time it was only one turn. Ah, you know what I should do? I should disperse my guys away so that I can get a bunch more. And yeah, I did get a bunch more. I also took a bunch of damage from, from somewhere. Look at that, I'm at 174 HP now. Okay, this is really funny. Um... Did it hurt my guys? Yes, it did hurt my guys. I like damage taking the wizard 700 on one. Sorry for that, I suppose. Um, let's summon more bears, because I only have three out. I can I can have up to five. Um, you know, this is kind of like the... <clears throat> Like the wizard build that I just played, but a bit better. Um, I feel like this does a standard chance versus round 20. Probably because Pop the Frog is easier than Johnny Mungander. Spider spawning might be totally insane too. Let's read Spider Spawning. I think that Spider Spawning triggers whenever something takes poison damage. If it is like that, then it is indeed going to be pretty insane. Um, spider Spawning. I have the experience, I could get it. Uh, enemy dies to poison, summon a friendly spider nearby. Okay, yep, it is hired. Spider Spawning is indeed very broken. Look at that! It's literally the first turn and look at how many spiders I already have. This is amazing. So many doggies, so many spiders. Um, pretty cool. And uh, the best thing is that this guy does not summon stuff. Um, it does steal HP. Um, I wonder if it steals HP from me. Was that what I, why I took a bunch of damage out of uh, seemingly nowhere earlier? <clears throat> Waiting for this guy to not be acidified. <clears throat> Maybe we get rid of the resistance with... Ah, oh, it, it costs three. Oh, it costs three only. I could make my way to some experience. Um... This is immensely ridiculous. How is it that I am beating the level so thoroughly? Like, I don't think I've killed a single gate, and, and like, this is kind of what I was expecting the wizard build to do. Um, to, to, like, easily take over the level. But it seems that uh, the true wizards were the bears. Um, GPU is poisoned. Uh, it's more like game engine is poisoned, because it, it, it's not really bottlenecked by my computer, despite the fact that my computer is like 10 years old. It's just like the limitations of the engine and how much it struggles to deal with a million actions of a million monsters at the same time. Um, 
Oh, yeah, I was wondering about the skellies. It's because of the Isle of Undeath. Your surprise emo corruption didn't crash me? Yet. It can still happen. I don't know where the experience is. I know that there's some experience here, so I guess we can try to grab it. Yeah, I, w I wanted um, to hit it with my acid fumes, but uh, it might be impossible considering how many monsters the level has. Um, I bet that with the way that this is going, uh, it might get hit by uh, with acid fumes the moment I reach the experience. No, okay, it's fine then. So we poison sting and we acidify. And then we poison sting this guy. Goodbye, poison resistance. Okay, now that made the game uh, freeze. <laughs> Probably because everything is attacking the guy. Oh man, poor Pope the Frog is gonna take quite the beating. Yeah, Hemo is melting it now. It's so violent that we're not even seeing it. <laughs> it just died. <laughs> <laughs> it just died! Oh my... Oh man, the, now that was pretty funny. It just died in one turn. Hemo Corruption dealt 12,000 damage. Oh, <laughs> oh man, what a, what a beautiful game this is. Yeah, oh man, like... Uh, you know, with Rift Wizard I feel like it's a lot easier to do something that I wish I could have done with Crawl. Um, like... I never want to end stream thinking that I don't like Rift Wizards, and it's so easy. It's so easy, like, 90% of the builds in this game make me feel so good. Like, it's sometimes, like, whenever there's some jank happening, or when the build is just straight up bad, that, like, I don't like this game so much, but, like, the vast majority of time, it's so easy to, to have a good time playing this game. Isn't Toad uh, gonna take? Yeah, the um, the Toad works this way. Any amount of damage that it takes over 700, it heals. It's not that it cannot take the damage. It's just that it heals it instantly. That's how it's coded. So if you make it so that it cannot heal by removing its poison resistance and poisoning it, that's what happens. <laughs> it's so funny. At this point, like, let me tell you that <clears throat> in Rift Wizard 2, Mordred is not even on, on, like, the same level as Mordred in Rift Wizard 1. In Rift Wizard 2, Mordred is a lot easier. Just because Mordred's power level is kind of the same as in Rift Wizard 1. For Rift Wizard 1, this was a wild monster. In Rift Wizard 2, you have immortal fiends have three or two extra lives and, like, the same amount of HP. Uh... <laughs> And like, there's a lot of them compared to only one Mordred. Yeah, it's it's just uh, something else. By the way, talking about one Mordred, I just realized that I don't have Word of Chaos. It's gonna be the first time in a while that I do this without Word of Chaos, but it should be fine. Um, oh no. Well, I guess it's fine because I the objective of this is to beat Mordred, not to kill everything. Um, I got poisoned, but I guess it's fine. Let me summon a bear. Um, uh, oh! Do I, I don't have a nether dagger. This would be a great time to have a nether dagger. Um, oh, but I have... I have poison sting. Hold on. Sweet. Jar so no is 
Uh, is Jar Mon Jar Monsters what uh, causes the game to crash with emo corruption? Mm. Uh, you're so far away and you're poisoned. I wish I could do more uh, about that. Yeah, no mobility, no Prince of Ruin, or not Prince of Ruin, no, not, no mobility, no uh, Word of Chaos. Okay. So I really like how the dogs kinda go infinite, because the dogs have the poison. So the poison triggers all of that jank. Uh, <laughs> it's actually kind of great. Look at this guy. Oh, it's a city fight. Wow, I got really lucky. Okay, uh, do I also have... Yeah, of course I do. I have Mega Venom and Collected Agony. Um, that's great. Hmm, I see. This is an Insanity Fiend Lich Spawner. Let's get rid of it. And we got rid of it, all right. Uh, Poison Sting kind of feels like the touch of that. Yeah, I I think that it's super ultra good um, for this uh, giant bear build. Poison Sting with that upgrade. It feels like you cast it, and whatever you cast it is just gonna instantly die. <clears throat> so in Reef Wizard 2, Mordred um, doesn't... Um, doesn't destroy your allies, uh, which is great. I might be able to grab uh, some experience for a mobility spell. In fact, I already have four. Uh, let's see, blink, it's this. Okay, we got a kill spell, so might as well put it to use. And then we disperse. We have so much uh, in the way of allies, it's, it's really funny. Um, I can upgrade Blink a bit with blind casting. Come on game, you can do it! I wonder what other funny things we can do with this build. Um, Every time I feel like I'm not truly getting everything that there is to get when it comes to these builds. Blink Disperse Arcane Bolt is a lot of fun. It's so strong. Uh, I played yesterday with uh, with Magic Missile. It was so good. Um, whenever an enemy dies to dark damage, three random enemies in line of sight of that enemy are stunned for five turns. And you may be wondering why am I why am I grabbing that? I have collected agony. Um, winning, yeah. Um, we have a build where I have some bears that um, whenever something takes poison, they heal, and whenever something heals, um, and not the the ally that heals deals that much poison damage to two enemy units in a five tile burst. So, uh, it deals poison damage, and it heals, and then it deals poison damage, and it heals, etc, etc. It's very powerful. <laughs> very explosive. Let's actually go to Turbo for one turn. Unfortunately, the level is pretty full of monsters that are immune to poison, so you don't really get to uh, witness the majesty that it has been, but it, it has been pretty good. I have mass calcification. Ah, oh, should I do it? I surely shouldn't do it. But I might do it anyway. Oh, well, uh, I guess I won't do it after all. You know, in the answer, in the absence of word of chaos, this person is pretty good at uh, Getting things away from you, preventing them from killing you.
Multimancy buffs Hemo Corruption. Yes. Ooh. Ooh, is it happening? Oh, I thought that it was happening, because if you have a jarred enemy, uh, sometimes Hemo Corruption can crash the game, I, I've heard. It hasn't happened yet, which is nice. Mm, Star Polemic, if you're still here, have you tried Reef Wizard 2? Um, you have never said it, but I um, have the impression that you don't particularly like uh, Reef Wizard 1 that much. If you get a chance, you should think about trying that. Oh, I killed Mordred! That was fast! Um, I mean, when the level is full of monsters that can do that to Mordred, uh, even though it's only the verse. Um, there we go! There we go! <laughs> that was so funny! Like, why are Venom Bears so strong? <laughs> That was so funny. Um, yeah, um, I've heard from a lot of people that um, that didn't quite vibe with one. Uh, that two is a lot more to to their liking. Personally, I have come to really appreciate the feeling of care that one has. Like you, you have to be careful with all of your actions. With your like uh, your spell charges, your HP, obviously your consumables and that kind of thing. In Reef Wizard 2, it's like you don't care about uh, playing optimally with your charges or your spells as long as you don't go to zero, because you get a full refund after the end of the level. Um, yeah, feels kind of bad that number of summons is a stat that only works on a handful of summon spells. Agreed. It's just inertia. You keep intending to give it a try, but it feels like too much effort to install Steam. Seriously. You don't have Steam on your computer, that's um, unusual to me. And I mention it because I have um, I have Steam on my computer, like pretty much I got my computer for Steam. Um, I got my first computer for Steam all those years ago. Um, anyway, that was a great run. <laughs> wow, look at the list of skills. This is what you can get away with when the skills are cheap. And poison skills are cheap, but you need to get a ton of them. But once you do, well, you already saw how that went. That was exquisite. Um, you've had Steam since like the first day it came out. Uh, I'm not that old. I'm only 28, about to be 29. And uh, the first time that I got a computer that I could really play games with, I was like... Uh, 19? Yeah, it was like 19. I went and I bought some parts and I assembled it myself. And I was so surprised that like having a functional computer, it wasn't even like something high-end, but it was a brand new computer. And I was like shocked that computers could run that well. Ever since then, I have gained a lot of experience with computers and stuff. And now I know how to make it so that computers run that well consistently. Um, but like at the... At, um, at first, like back in the day, that was shocking for me. Um, that was so good. Yeah, amazing run, don't you think? And I think that's a good spot to leave it at that. Um, thank you everyone for watching. If you have Prime, consider giving me your Prime. I would appreciate it a lot. It would certainly help me. If you ever decide to build a desktop computer, you know who to ask. Yeah, you can always ask me and I'll help you. Um, have a good night, everyone. Thank you for stopping by. Um, <clears throat> that was an amazing run. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it a good amount. Um, man, it's it's such a wonderful game. Like, I'm not gonna start another one, but like, let's just take a second to really appreciate the amount of crazy variety that like four pages of spells and uh, three pages of skills does for the game. Like. There's endless amounts of combinations and endless amounts of crazy stuff that you can do um, in this game. Like a lot more compared to one. And some may be pretty janky, like the wizard run. Um, and some may be pretty awesome. So next things that I would like to try are Ritual of Revelation, definitely. Um, maybe Soul Wind, though I don't think this is that strong. I would like to try it, maybe it um, makes me change my opinion, like after I try it, but it doesn't seem that strong to me. Um, 
Block of Eagles being level 6 is kind of wild to me. Yeah, maybe that's yet another spell that I have to try in order to truly appreciate how broken it is. Um, or maybe I just go for an Arc Lightning run. Um, but anyway, that will be tomorrow. For now, I have had enough of streaming. Um, I only stream for hours because like, I cannot stream for longer. My throat just cannot handle it. <clears throat> When I was younger, I used to stream for a long time during the crawl tournaments, and like for 12 hours pretty much during the crawl tournaments, and A, I don't want to do that anymore, and B, even if I wanted to, I don't think that I would be able to, like I really start to feel it in my throat beyond the like 4 hour mark, so yeah, uh, but that's fine. Flock of Eagles casting Thunderstrike is fun. Those um, monsters having secret uh, access to spells, like, it's it's pretty weird. Um, Riff Wizard 2 should have, like, a filter that, like, you type in the name of something and it shows you everything that synergizes with it. If someone wants to make that tool, I would appreciate it or implement it on top of an already existing tool for Riff Wizard 2. Um, it would be quite useful if it cannot be in the game directly. Um, for figuring out how to build um, your spells and stuff. Yeah, like uh, that. Let's take a look. Oh, there he is. Yeah, that thing that I just said literally already exists. I'm gonna have to try it at some point. Uh, like, I'm gonna do some runs using that tool in the future. Mm, anyway, that is it for real this time. Thank you for everything. See you around. Have a nice rest of your night.